Right this side then. We're back in Miami, Minnesota, Macalada here. And Ave Maria, no better place to do the comeback. We've been a year. I haven't been able to get anybody to come with me to record, but now through the providence of the Virgin Mary, we're here because the Virgin Mary is the way to victory. Let's go. Victory. Every time I every time I just grab my roses, I just pray the chest, pray the chest. Treat it like the rosy, like the rose stay my chest. Here we are, aquí estamos en Ave Maria. Todo con a sister hermana. Regina. Sister. So him and I were both born in California. I moved out there when I was about like three years old. Came here to West Palm Beach, um, you know, a little bit far from West Palm. Um, my name's Sophia. I'm Sarah. Sarah, Sophia, thank you for being on the show. We're in Ave Maria for the once a year annual March for Life. What, what is one thing that motivates you being here, right? You could be doing anywhere else, right? You could be into uh, fulfilling uh, your own desires or doing what you like, but you're here. Well, Oh, I think it's like really amazing how there's so many people and like as a group it makes like such like a bigger impact than like just by yourself and yeah. Facts. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's beautiful that there, yeah, like she said, there's a lot of people here and, um, and a lot of children and we're all praying the rosary together and it's, um, yeah, it's beautiful. What is your advice and, and words? a fire of the Lord to share, especially in your uh, vocation of living that pro-life mission every day. First of all, like, believe it in God, have faith in God, trust it in Him at all times, and no matter what, you know, He's always present in your life, but also um, recognizing that life is a gift, and that you have to share the gift, and the gift of the vocation that you have, obviously, is the gift that, um, my vocation, my religious vocation is to be a missionary. And so, um, take it like giving Jesus or bringing Jesus to everyone. Okay, everyone who is in front of you, everyone who we encounter, that's the best gift that we can give, and that's how we share the the gift for life. Here to support not only to support the movement, but to um, to see that there's other people that actually care about the people that don't have a voice. You know what I'm saying? I do have doubts? I would say to question their morality and question why is it that why is it that you know why is it that you believe that this is a choice that you could make um, and where does your morality really come from you know try to genuinely reason as to why you should be able to do this and then ask yourself and apply those same things in different situations you know like like if you're completely agnostic where does your morality really come from um, and I think from there you'll start to unravel some things like morality in my opinion has to come from some divine truth you know there has to be a objective truth to everything and so the world is not gonna give you that the world is just gonna tell you to live freely and just live how you how you however you care to live and that that comes that ultimately creates abortion I mean, you, have no, you got no, you have lack of accountability if you have no accountability lack of control exactly you can't if you can't control your sexual desires and you can't control the then and you really don't want to deal with the outcomes and the consequences then you have to ask yourself well, where does my morality come from if not if, if you don't even consider it killing a baby right if you don't even consider it. what is something about mary that is studying out to you um i don't know she's just like a really like she's such a great example like she was like a human too and like how she followed jesus like i mean god like even though she didn't know what was happening and she still said yes and that, I just thought that was amazing. Thank you. And her son is literally master of the universe. She wasn't, you know, I'm going to put this bluntly, she wasn't having sex with Joseph, but she still conceived a child. Um, and yeah, praise be the Lord Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I don't think she ever questioned aborting the son of God. And so, for her to even think about us doing that to our own children, it's probably a lot on her mind. And I'm sure she doesn't want to see that happen in any circumstance. Comparte con la gente de devoción a la María. Bueno, lo que tienen que tener en cuenta es que la Virgen María es nuestra madre. Por más que tengamos dificultades, problemas, recordemos, la Virgen de Guadalupe dice, aquí se, ¿acaso no estoy yo aquí que soy tu madre? Entonces, no tenemos por qué lleva, dejarnos llevar por las preocupaciones, porque María está ahí para ayudarnos. Amén, María está ahí para usted. I, I, I look at Mother Mary in the sense of, 
she is the pinnacle of motherhood and the pinnacle of love. You know, if, if God were to have a mother, which he did, you would imagine that that person would be the pinnacle of just that maternal nature. And so to deny yourself, as a woman, to deny yourself of being that mother, I mean, why would you do that? You know, you could be, you could be the the absolute pinnacle of, of uh, femininity, really. Yes. yes. So that's a. Uh, I would say, don't deny yourself of that. Deny your the beauty of femininity. Saying yes to God, even though she she was young and she didn't exactly know exactly what was going to happen, um, but she still yes said yes and put her face in God. This is Tom D coming at you live, Ave Maria University, 2024, March of Life. I'm here with a couple of women. Stephanie, Stephanie Suarez, what do you have to say? What are your thoughts? How do you feel about the March of Life reality? It was hard to hear today. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. And here at Ave Maria, what are your thoughts? On the pro-life movement, your so, love, your devotion, tell us all about it. I was super excited to get to bring, are you still recording? Thank you very much. <laughs> I was super excited to bring my group. And again, uh, I have a lost car key here. If you have a lost car key, uh, looks like an Audi vehicle car key. So, so they're not alone. Over here by the honestly, audio board. I think uh, this inspired me more. I, I think it touched me more to get to see their joy and their enthusiasm yeah, yeah. and seeing everybody so excited standing up for life. So. Are the change. Yeah, Praise God. Let's go. Praise God. Don't worry, I'm back now. I even give this to you guys and everybody watching. It's gonna get hard. Life is all sunshines and rainbows. There's even a movie cool on that. But God is gonna be there always for you, no matter if your parents are gone, your best friend, that guy, that girl, friends. Pray the rosary. Pray the rosary every day. Every day. Learn to pray the rosary. And actually, it's the weapon that will save the world. So, um, we have to pray the rosary. Yes, pray the rosary.